Um, you know, game one's obviously styles change so much from team to team. Just, um, I mean, I know you know the length that the Lakers possess. Just how different is it going from who you just played to, to what they have inside? Yeah, it's a totally different team. Um, you know, they present some different challenges than we faced the first round. You just got to make the adjustment, come back in game two better. Did you think the quick turnaround had any effect on you guys uh, no. at the beginning end of the end of this game? Nah. <coughs> uh, thought we was pretty good. Uh, we got out in transition early. We fouled too much, and that you know that slowed us down quite a bit. So we got to be better defensively, and that start with me. How do you handle not just you specifically, but the team handle a player like Anthony Davis with that amount of length and? Uh, I think when you're guarding a player like AD, um, you know, it's never going to be one guy that just shuts him down. It's a team effort. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, as far as the matchup goes, you know, you got to take that head on. And, you know, I don't think we did a great job of that tonight. And like I said, that starts with me. You mentioned the foul discrepancy, and obviously they got to the line nearly like five times more than you guys. I mean, how do you combat that going forward? Is, is that is it as simple as just the message being, don't foul? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there was some, you know, some cheap ones that we kind of gave away, some in transition we took, uh, you know, some away from the ball when they were in the penalty, uh, you know, that we can take away, and you know, we'll be better with that. You mentioned how the uh, obviously a very different team you're playing now than you played in the last round. But in terms of the bigs, how different is that? I mean, that's a dramatic change going from Thomas to to AD. I mean, what is AD? What are the challenges he brings specifically? Uh, he's a great player, um, very athletic, great rim protector, uh, and you know his shot was going tonight. You know, he felt like he he made every one of those mid ranges he took, and you know um, you got to live with some of those. But I think you know we can do a better job individually and collectively uh, to take some of those away. Obviously, Jordan didn't have a great last series, but what did you think about him in this game and the shots he was taking and the willingness to take them? I thought he was really good. Uh, I thought early on he passed up a couple, and you know we needed him to take those, and then he started taking them, and he was great. And um, you know I think this will be a series that will go his way, and you know that's great for us because we'll need him. Uh, you talk about um, things have to change with you, and typically you're the floor general. So what do you change for, for the next game? Uh, my aggressiveness I, on both ends of the floor. I think um, you know, I allowed the three fouls to kind of take me out of a rhythm and never really found it again. You know, So just got to stay out of foul trouble. Um, it's kind of been a thing with me lately. and Just got to stop fouling and defend better. Um, it's a feel-out game, obviously. Game one, of course, you want to win it, but – guys make adjustments from here in that fourth quarter you guys went on a run Steve kind of went small do you think that's something that you guys can use to your advantage <clears throat> I mean I think that's always been an advantage for us but we're not just taking Kevon Looney out of the lineup uh, he's been incredible so that's not on him if anything it was on me so uh, yeah I mean that's something that we always have and I'm sure we'll see some of that but um, you know, there's a lot of other things that we can do better, and you know, we'll watch the tape, figure them out, and we'll be better. You mentioned you feel like this is a series that tilts Jordan's way. Is that just because an obvious need for more spacing out there against them? Yeah, spacing, but I also think um, the way they guard. Uh, you know, he's going to get some good looks, and you know, it's on me and Loon and Jamichael, uh, you know, guys to get him free and allow him to get some daylight and get to some of the shots that he want to get to. But, uh, you know, like I said, I think this will be a much better series for him and uh, one that will turn his way and, you know, hopefully that will turn it our way. Draymond, just following up on Monty's question there. You're in the back, sorry. <laughs> uh, following up on Monty's question there, do you feel like you can employ a similar strategy in guarding AD that you did with Domas or is that – Hell no. No. Totally different player. Um, no way. Uh we, like I said, we have to be better at the point of attack with him. Um, you know, shore up our ball screen offense. He got a lot out of ball screen um, and drop offs. I mean, ball screen defense. I'm sorry. Uh, he got a lot out of ball screens and drop offs. And you know, we <clears throat> you go from guarding pick and roll totally different last series, quick turnaround, and 
you got to readjust to that, you know. And so we'll make the adjustments and we'll figure it out. But um, like I said, it starts with our aggression. Um, you know, when you allow him to get a couple easy ones to start, then he's feeling good and he's a hell of a player, as we all know. So it starts with our aggression initially and, um, you know, and then you go from there. Andrew, I'm going to ask this of Steve before the game. You know, your last four games now, the road team has won. A lot of road teams are winning the playoffs. Is home court advantage in the playoffs maybe overrated? I think everybody want to be at home. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily overrated. Uh, at some point, you know, some road teams are going to get some games, and you know, we'll have to make sure we do that and return that favor. Um, but no, if you can get home court, you always want uh, home court uh, just to be in front of your crowd. Um, you know, in hopes that you know everyone plays better at home. You know, so. Uh, you know, you establish more of your routine, your daily routine, which makes a difference. So I think, um, you know, we all want home court, and, you know, we'll have to, number one, protect home court next game. Uh, but also, you know, come come this weekend, go, go down there and get, get one back.